Hello, everyone, and welcome to another brand new episode of Topic Thunder. We're from the top 10. I am John Roca. And I am Matt Nost. And uh, this is a show we do each and every week for our patrons over at patreon.com forward slash the top 10 with the number 10. And uh, they send in whatever they'd like us to talk about. We don't know what it is beforehand, and we just answer as we go. Um, yeah. Is it is it my turn to start? Yes, this time? it is absolutely your turn to start, man. Let's do it. All right, first one comes from Angela Dashner, a boss wow. hog. It says, uh, thanks, John and Matt, for answering my questions. Uh, if you could take any presidential character from a movie and make them actually run for president, Ooh. who would it be? Wow. Angela Dashner. Well, first of all, shout out to Angela Dashner, who was our most recent boss hog uh, person whose uh, mm -hmm. list we did. So shout out to Angela. Thank you very much. Top 10 captains in movies. So clearly she's in, she's uh, connected to the idea of leaders of uh, anything. So asking about presidents now. God, that's a tough choice. I, I mean, I look at Morgan Freeman in Deep Impact, although I may not like the film. I like the idea of Morgan Freeman as president. Uh, I know a lot of people might choose Michael Douglas as the uh, the American sure. president. Some people even might cheat and go down to uh, Josiah Bartlett down there in the the West Wing. <sighs> but I mean, <laughs> just to be an asshole, I love the idea of Terry Crews from Idiocracy as president. Okay. That's kind of funny. I'd like to see him run for president with the muscles, with the aggressiveness, with but make him a liberal. Let's see. For once, on one, on that side of the spectrum, let's have a crazy, out there left liberal who's saying and crazy and saying crazy shit, and see what happens. I don't know. What do you think? What what would be your choice? Uh, the first one that came to mind was uh, Dave Kevin Klein. Oh yeah, nice choice. Just nice guy. seems like a nice guy and trying to do the right thing. Like when he wants to fund that program, he figures out the cuts that they can make in the right. bureaucracy to fund the program. So so you want the you want the guy they found that looks like Dave to be yeah. the president. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's the guy that I saw actually be president for yeah, true. the movie. That's true. Uh, the other dude we only saw for a brief moment, like when the two of them meet and he inspects Kevin Klein. Kevin Klein inspects <laughs> Kevin Klein. Yes. Yes. And he'd say he does look like me and whatever. And then he goes off to have his affair where he dies. Spoiler. I mean, spoiler. Um, Pretty sure that was in the trailer. It's in the <laughs> opening three minutes of the movie, so it's not really spoiling anything. Whoops, a daisy. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Josiah Bartlett would be pretty fantastic. I mean, really, right? It's tough. I mean, uh, who else has played a president for that long? Where you've <laughs> seen them in the role? Yeah. Um, for for a, a tremendous amount of time. Let's see what other potential. No, let's see presidents because you don't want somebody that played a real president because that's cheating it is cheating so so daniel day lewis is out for you yeah it, anything like that daniel day lewis yeah. or um shit who played kennedy in 13 days uh bruce greenwood there you go bruce greenwood i knew yeah. it wasn't costner obviously no what that accent is yeah Ooh. can't can't be anything like that uh, because that to me is cheating dude we're idiots what about harrison ford in air force one no i still <laughs> think i take dave <laughs> okay what about uh bill pullman uh, in independence not even Day? close i take dave i don't know how bill pullman got elected to be perfectly honest you, yeah you got a weird thing against him in that movie. he's just so boring <laughs> that speech is utterly boring and that's You're supposed insane. to inspire millions that's today fantastic. is the day <laughs> i say day You're like okay you're just purposely making fun of it because he does not say that. It's a very he really does speech. He does. And I tried um, watching The Sinner and I just couldn't do it. Really, dude, well, I love the, that show. The oh newest season. I don't know if there's any difference. Catherine had watched one or two mm -hmm. others. I think this is the fourth season. Yeah, it's fourth season. So I got like two, maybe three. I know I watched two for sure, and I was just mm -hmm. like, I, I like the actual crime who done it of it. Yes, yes. The psychological all that around it. I didn't. Right. I was like, I don't care. Okay. But there's so yeah. much television, it's easy to give up on shit. You're right. We just started watching the fourth season. We got through the first three episodes. We love it. Uh, um, but this is the first time they brought a character over into the next season. That girlfriend of his was from the last season. Oh, okay. They got together because she was connected to the crime case of the last season. I don't like her being a part of his life because I like that he's unstable all the time. That's the better. That's the 
more much i don't know that's the more dynamic uh, part of the show that I enjoy watching. So when the fact that she's there kind of be like, oh, the hippie dippy artist that's helping you figure out your life. I just kind of go like, fuck, I don't want anything to do with this. Like make him crazy again. Let's go. So, but uh, I hear if it's not for you, it's not for you. And I get it. Like, maybe you just have a thing for Bill Pullman. You just don't like Bill Pullman. Do you not like space balls? Space balls is atrocious. I don't blame See? him for that, but space balls <laughs> is atrocious. This could be a Pullman thing. It's it, uh, while you were really sleeping? not. What's that? Why you I like why it's fine. Okay, all right, it's all fine. Right. You know, right. it, you know, it is what it is. Type of, right. of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, well, I'm gonna pull up his IMDb because I don't <laughs> feel like I have a Bill Pullman thing. I think you might have a Bill Pullman thing. I don't think I do. I have a Sean Astin thing though, not because I don't think he's a good actor. I just rarely like any of his movies. It just happens, Matt. Uh, let's <sighs> see. Well, I mean, those the ones listed at the top of his IMDb. No, thank you. But <laughs> no, thank you. Well, they put the pictures in it's Independence Day, the follow up Independence Day, and then right. Spaceballs and be like, guys, this is so for three. All right. Summers B? No. Well, does, who, who really yeah, defends exactly. Summers B? Casper? That doesn't count. Lost Highway? Yeah, Malice. Yeah, there's a lot of. Sleep was in Seattle, but his part is so small. It's so small. Yeah, he's Singles, the, I don't remember him in it. He's the John Corbett. A League of Their Own, his part is teeny tiny. It is. Uh, Wyatt Earp. Also not a big part. Exactly. Yeah. Lake Placid, I actually like. Okay. You see, the leader is Oliver Platt, the lead in that film. I forget. Uh, Oliver, uh, I think, well, he plays like the sheriff, does he not? Oh, I think so. Yeah, you're right. Um, let's see. Hmm. Titan AE. I actually, it, it's all right. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're running out of, he goes down. We're running out of options here for you, my man. Bottles should kill her inside. But yeah, there's, uh, there's not a lot here. <laughs> well, you tell me in these that you're, you know, willing to I, die on I, a hill I, for. I, well, first of all, that wasn't the premise, but all right. I mean, I like him in space balls. I dog accidental tourist. Space uh, is so terrible. Um, I didn't see Newsies much to uh, Kevin Spencer's chagrin. A League of Their Own, yes. I hate singles. It's so pretentious. That well, we already said League of Their Own doesn't count. All right, all right, fine, fine. Um, I do like him in White Earp. I like White Earp. I love Why You Were Sleeping. Uh, I think that's a very sweet film. Uh, I didn't see Mister Wrong, but then again, I can't imagine the good an Ellen DeGeneres good performance. Love Independence Day. I hate all David, almost all David Lynch. The Lost Highway doesn't do anything for me. The End of Violence. I don't remember that movie. What is The End of Violence? I have no idea. He's got oh, quite a few on the, that wow. list where I'm just like, I got nothing. <laughs> Absolutely. I've never seen Lake Placid, but I know he plays a sheriff from the trailer. Um, yeah. Lucky Numbers? Isn't that the one with Travolta? Yeah. Um, Travolta and Kudrow. Dark maybe. Waters with Ruffalo. I like Dark Waters well, a lot. Oh, was he in that? Okay, yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Battle of the Sexes. Although, mm. once again, I don't know how big his part was, but still. Yeah. Equalizer, he has this, not a big part, but a noticeable yeah. part. Yeah, I mean, I like Equalizer. I like Battle of the Sexes. I like Dark mm. Waters, but they're all small yeah. parts. Right, right, right. So where he's the lead, yeah, perhaps uh, I'm not yeah. the biggest fan. It's just, it's not him. Mm. I think it's just the movies that... He's agreed to be in. Sure. Yeah. It's the way I feel about Sean Astin. I don't think Sean Astin's a bad actor at all. I just have an issue with the movies that he's in. He's he's got some gems though. That's a problem for you. Does he though? He really does. You got I between the of Lord any. of the Rings nope. and uh Goonies. Nope. And uh Fifty First Dates. That I can give him. That I like him in that one. Uh this lisp. Yeah. It's very fun. We're in agreement on Rudy. Most people, yes, you about ninety-five percent of the viewing public disagrees with us, but that's yeah, fine. That's all right. I got no problem with that. Yeah, you know, to each their own. <laughs> uh, yeah, I didn't. I didn't like Toy Soldiers. I know a lot of people like Toy Soldiers. Uh, Encino Man's okay. I, actually, I like Toy Soldiers, and Do I you? like Encino Man. Yeah, I like Encino Man. Um, yeah, I'm not. There's not much else. Uh, getting past Lord of the Rings. Nope, Elvis has left the building. Slipstream. I don't know these films bigger than the sky. Love and debate. Click. Oh, click was atrocious. Uh, yeah, I don't know much past this Stranger that I've things. seen. Uh, yeah, he was fine. 
but you know he was playing essentially an older overweight version of himself from the 80s so it wasn't that much way, way to attack the man's character no this is the character that he played uh -huh. I'm he is an overweight out of touch you just called him a fat pathetic former version of himself <laughs> in the in the show he's supposed to be that because you're not supposed to expect much from him um yeah I dude know. i don't see anything else i would have in, enjoyed him in so yeah all right well you already got more that you agree with than i do for pullman that's true he's that's got true. bigger parts and a lot more movies that you just brought up than pullman does that's true he does uh what about the president and escape from la cliff robertson how about that guy no all right fine i it's the inferior of the two, and I really think Escape from New York has trouble holding up at this point. Uh, some of it really does. Yeah, oh, that yeah. wrestling match Oof. is so bad to watch it's now. It's terribly staged. Yes. It is. Terribly staged. And it's so weird because it wrestling has been around it. for so long. And yeah, you, you could have brought in on the cheap a bunch of guys to do a better job of choreographing that. They brought people in on the cheap for glow. And they did a better job of choreographing those fight sequences. Um, uh, what about John Travolta from Primary Colors? Even though he's playing a version of Bill Clinton, it still qualifies as not actually Bill Clinton, don't you think? Or no? I mean, yeah, technically. But he okay. is basically just playing Bill Clinton. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, um, okay. Are there any other presidents that we've missed? There's, there's got to be. Let's see. That what other fictional presidents I'm trying to run through my brain of coming up with anybody anybody at all anybody, anybody. they'll come to me <laughs> it'll come to me jack uh, nicholson in mars attacks no hell no uh, i don't get why people like that movie oh, i like uh, spots of that movie the president in superman 2 eg marshall yes or no yes or no I, you're you're a bigger fan of the series you tell me mm, i would say no although he's a good president i wouldn't want him to be president billy bob thornton in love actually Oof. no no he's he's probably a little too real how about president schwarzenegger in the simpsons movie voiced by harry Shearer? i think that's that could be a winner I think I would take Schwarzenegger over Shearer, to be perfectly <laughs> honest. What about Aaron Eckhart in those Tragedy Has Fallen or the Olympus Has Fallen films? Oh, like you aren't a huge fan of those. I love that you're trying to dismiss. What what are they called again? Uh, Olympus Has Fallen? Angel There's, Has Fallen? Angel London Has Fallen, fallen. Olympus Has Fallen, <laughs> London Has Fallen. You know what? For, for what they are, they're good. They're good for what they are. Yes, for what I agree. they are. Um, you know, they're over the top and ridiculous, and it's amazing that it keeps happening to this one Secret Service agent. But <laughs> well, so it's twenty four, right? I mean, you're like, what the fuck? Yeah. So yeah. Uh, All right. Yeah, sure. He seemed like a, a good enough guy. Yeah. I yeah, I don't know. We spent enough time on this one, man. Let's move on. All right. Well, thank you, Angela. <laughs> Absolutely. With a great question. We love you, Angela. Uh, all right. Jeremy Bowers here uh, says, hey, Matt and John, I was curious as a chef, what are some of your favorite meals to personally make? I'm not a chef. Being from Maryland, I love making cream of crab soup. Thank you for answering my question. So Jeremy Bowers is a chef, I imagine, because he was saying I was curious as a chef. What are some of your favorite meals to personally make? So Matt, do you have a favorite meal or favorite meals to personally make? Um, I mean, the... Most common one is I do some variation of I roast up a bunch of different veggies and then I'll like saute up some onions and garlic and put those over the top uh, and do that like once or twice a week mm. just because it's an entire meal of veggies. And I feel I like that. My, my body responds well to it. So I do that yeah. quite a bit. I eat, you know, veggies as a meal for dinner, a decent amount. Really? Uh, no. Okay. Yeah. It's, I just feel way better as a whole. Respect to you, man. I can't do that. I have to have meat. I go insane without it. I I used to be like that, where it's just like you know, I have a I have meat with every meal, and then uh, eventually, you know, I can get protein in other ways. And sure, uh, I add some you know beans or something along those lines to get the protein in mm. with this roasted veggie mix, and 
Right. Uh, let's see. I like making. Um, I made it a couple times. Carne and Sahugo. Okay. Um, that's a good one. Yeah. I cook a lot on the grill. Oh, cool. Uh, but I don't know if that's exactly what he's talking about because that's just you know seasoning, marinating, and then throwing it on. So it's not really. Well, you're cooking. still making it, aren't you? Because yeah. You gotta cook it to make sure. For sure. Got to sear it. Um, but Catherine does. I mean the. The rule of thumb around here is she likes to cook and I don't mind cleaning the dishes. <laughs> That's smart. so yeah, it's a trade off and it doesn't mm-hmm. bother me at all. It's like, whatever, got to do the dishes. And she doesn't like doing the dishes. Right. It's just like, okay, well, if you like cooking, go for it. Um, yeah. So Nothing she cooks more often than not. I try and help if she's whatever, running late that day or something on, on mm-hmm. the way to get home. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm trying to think, is there anything specifically? Did you make? Um, yeah, I've done chicken marsala every once in a while. Um, lasagna, um, spaghetti, and meatballs. Um, but my my favorite thing to make recently is the stuff I do for breakfast. I do an omelet that's pretty weighty and kind of carries me through lunch into dinner. From breakfast and it's basically a breakfast lunch type of combo. I take about um, half a pound of turkey meat. Um, Put it in the pan, chop up a bunch of uh, tomatoes, chop up a bunch of mushrooms. Uh, let the let put the turkey in first for a little bit, then throw in the uh, vegetables with spinach mm-hmm. that you get from Trader Joe's. Mix that up a little bit, then take about three eggs or four eggs, depending on how hungry I am. Mix them up in a bowl, drop a little bit of almond milk inside that with the Khalif almond milk, whatever it is, kind of mix it up. And as soon as the spinach starts to kind of get soggy, then drip the... Um, uh egg all over it uh the mixed egg all over it and then essentially turn that into an omelet for me to eat and that usually carries me over into like dinner so it's it's sure i discovered that when i went into paleo and i ran that by the um people involved with the paleo the nutrition coordinator and they were like yeah that's that's a paleo meal so i was like all right so i can make that work so i like it so and sometimes it's grass-fed beef that I get from Costco as well for like five ninety nine. That ground grass, sure. But that, but that shit is gone in two days, man. It's gray in two days, which is really fucking frustrating, dude. Well, I mean, it's <sighs> yeah, but at the same time, it's if it's you know pasture raised and it's grass fed beef yeah. and there's no hormones added and there's no antibiotics, like it's a better deal overall. It sucks, sure. it costs more. It but, does. Yeah, that's all. I don't buy because I don't eat meat as much. Yeah. Uh, that's that's what I get is pasture raised. I pay the extra, which you know, mm. the sticker shock every time is like, man, yeah. this is almost double the cost. But it's like, hey, this got to be better for me. That's my <laughs> rational. It just has to be. There's just no way right. around. So I'm willing to pay the extra, but I'm also not eating meat as consistently. Yeah, I, not- I, I'm not joking. I have to. Okay, I've tried. I've tried to go without meat, and I just I go insane. So I need it. But I've tried to limit the red meat that I consume. So I try to focus on chicken and turkey and fish and stay away from too many steaks. I mean, I used to have steak almost every fucking night in my twenties and thirties, just like making it up or, or buying it at the fucking whatever Taco Bell or whatever steak, whatever, or burritos. I just loved it. But like at some point you read too much about the detriment of red meat and you go, okay, let's start making some changes. So yeah, can't, uh, I can't do it anymore Understood. if i ate that much red meat i would just feel weighted down yeah kind of logy mm-hmm. yeah whereas with the i mean there is a downside to it i've already used the restroom twice today pretty <laughs> yeah the vegetables yeah vegetables eating that much in vegetable like and it's a i make a heaping pile i eat a <laughs> shitload of vegetables and last night it was potatoes and broccoli brussels sprouts and cauliflower right uh and then tried to put avocado on it, but the avocado had already gone south. That shit will turn you into Jeff Daniels and Dumb and Dumber in a heartbeat. Oh, it's <laughs> twice today. That, uh, I, you know, yeah. But it, it's, I feel I feel way, way better. That's great. It's weird. On that omelet, I can't do... I don't like... T- I'd rather put on the tomatoes and spinach cold. Oh, Really? Okay. Spinach cooks down to nothing. It's yeah. Like, well, this seems kind of pointless. And I don't like cooked tomatoes. 
Oh, wow. Okay. They just don't Fair enough. taste right. Like, I don't, I don't know what it mm. is. Like, Tomato sauce and pizza, it doesn't count. Right, 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 of course. But if they slice up tomatoes and put it on top of a pizza or, you know, in an omelet yeah. or something like that, it's just like, ah, I'd rather have it drizzled on there cold. I still want the tomatoes. But yeah. once it's cooked, I'm just not a fan. Everything else, though, the mushrooms sound great. Do a little diced onion or something, throw in some garlic. Like, I'm in on all the rest of that. That's on you, man. I, I don't like garlic in anything I make or onion in anything I make. But I've had it in other things that I've eaten, and I don't mind it. I just... It's not a. It's not something I run to. I don't. I'm not a big fan of it for whatever reason. God. I don't like the smell. So good. <laughs> so so good. good. We make a chimichurri sauce that is. I mean, we double the garlic of any recipe Whew. you've ever seen, and it is. It is spicy with garlic. It's so fucking good. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Everybody else's chimichurri. It's like a nice thin oil base, and ours has oil, but it is right. way thicker uh, because of all <laughs> the fucking garlic. It's so good. But yeah, I'm a big fan of garlic and onions. It's supposed to be good for your stomach as well, garlic. So oh. it's supposed to be good to help you process things and whatever. And when I was at a garlic festival years ago, I remember trying different types of garlic, and I was just like, "Fuck it!" It killed me. It killed me. But, um. I mean, I smelled for two or three days. Um, oh, yeah. Because it's in your fucking pores, dude. And so yeah. I I thought it was great to eat it raw and challenge your stomach with the different flavors of garlic that they have, which I didn't know there was different flavors of garlic. And it was an incredible experience, but I would never do that again. <laughs> I would never do that again. So, so. I know. We get so accustomed to, like, this is a banana. Yeah. You just yeah, think yeah. that there are no other bananas and there's so many varieties that you'll never get a chance to try. Yeah. yeah. Whereas with apples, you're kind of used to it. There's so many, you know, you can get Holy three, four, that. five different varieties at the, the grocery store. And then there's yeah. another several hundred. Yeah. It's incredible. Just at the Costco, you can get five different varieties. You don't find too much variety at the Costco, but even yeah. at Costco, you have five different ones. I'm not Costco. I'm sorry. Uh, Trader Joe's. And you don't find too much variety at Trader Joe's and you can find like five different types of apples. Exactly. But if you so, want whatever an artichoke it's just the one type of artichoke yeah that's it this is all you get is it i mean i didn't think about that until i got older and the fact right. that oh of course they're but it was so illuminating but i was just like yeah that's a banana and be like no that is that's one banana yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and there's a fucking <laughs> specific reason we get that banana but there's so many other bananas out there there are yeah for sure uh all right anyway um, cool uh, let's jump on to our next one then, Matt. What do we, what do we got? All we, right. Thank we'll you, see. Mr. Bowers. We'll skip that next one. Come back yeah. to it next week. Um, it's another food related question. It appears this is from oh. Chuck Clark and says, hello, Matt and John. If you had to pick a country to visit based purely on the local cuisine, which countries would be at the top of your list? As always, best wishes to you both and everyone listening. Sincerely, Chuck Clark. Hashtag let's go Mountaineers. Nice. Okay, so when I was younger, I would have said Italy, just mm -hmm. to have all the different types of food that you can have in Italy, the cuisine. But now that I'm older and I know what the pasta does to my body, um, I would say Greece. Um, sure. I love the Mediterranean food. Yeah, me too. I really enjoy a good Mediterranean place. Um, and when you go into one of those places and my, even my doctor recently, I was doing my physical, she recommended a Mediterranean diet. So yeah. So then my, my inclination is to go to Greece and kind of see and taste all the different flavors of the cuisine there. Um, and I don't imagine they put a lot of garlic in their stuff. So I think that kind of helps too, but yeah. What, what about you? Um, well, I'm pretty sure they're, they like garlic as well. I mean, considering in most you know, Mediterranean restaurants, you can get tum, which is garlic sauce. Oh, yeah, I guess you're right. So, I mean, they made a me, sauce out of fucking garlic. So <laughs> we made one out of tomatoes and ketchup and they were like, fuck that. Right, right. Fair. Let's take some oil and some garlic and make a much superior version. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and I love tum, man. Tum is delicious. It's got to be terrible for you. I don't want to know oh, how bad it yeah. is. Yeah. Uh I think the first one to come to mind is uh, Japan. We've talked about maybe oh, yeah. going to Japan. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I like seafood 
So it's an easy no brainer. There's a bunch of seafood there and then maybe potentially try a little Kobe beef. Oh yeah. Kobe beef is great. Absolutely. Uh, pay through the nose for two ounces of beef thinly sliced. Oh yeah. Uh, but I'm supposed to be melting your mouth. Delicious. So much fat. I can't even imagine how good that probably tastes. <laughs> Uh, Japan, yeah, is the first thing that pops up. And then I would say like something completely different that I'm not used to somewhere in Africa or something, maybe go to Egypt, mm. but it's still closer to the Mediterranean. So I'd, I'd imagine it's close to, yeah, on some level, a bunch of food I've already had from that region. Right. Uh, right. so maybe go sub-Saharan or down to South Africa Ooh. or something. Yeah. Egypt would be interesting. I've tasted some stuff from Egypt that I liked. So Egypt could be a nice challenge. Lebanese cuisine cuisine I hear is really, really good. Sure. I like Lebanese. Um, I wouldn't do I tried Ethiopian. I tried that like the, on that Fairfax strip. They have sure. those, like, little, little and Ethiopia. I, that that destroyed me. Yeah, I couldn't do it. It was not. It's not for me. Okay. Um, but I hear you on Japan. That's probably my second one right after Greece would be Japan because of all the different types of cuisine they have and the different types and the sushi stuff and all of it just would be yeah. a fantastic uh, second country to go to. Yeah. Yeah. But I'd be down for quite a bit of Southeast Asia just to, if oh, yeah. I couldn't go to Japan, be like, oh, South Korea. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love pho. So that's an entry point of, okay, oh, yeah. pho, and then what else is close to pho? Like what else you guys got? Right. Um, right. I don't know, you know, much outside of the Americanized Chinese food. Is there is there other countries without cuisine? Like, does Canada have a cuisine? Does is there Canadian? How dare cuisine? poutine is a national delicacy? You put gravy on top of fries. Uh, I don't know what else they that have. That is not though. cuisine. Look at poutine. No, that's a heart attack on a plate. Yeah, exactly. I tried it once. I couldn't even finish a quarter of the fucking plate. I was like, this is I insane. Doesn't, I can't do it. May, about, there was a, a time when I could have, but I'm not yeah. 22 anymore. Exactly. <laughs> so uh, I don't know how. It's like carne, uh, carne asada fries. I can't do that anymore. It's oh, delicious, good but I could not fucking do it. Yeah, like the, we have a, there's a, a barbecue place near where we are uh, called Kaminsky's. Mm -hmm. And they sell, they serve a tater tots, cheddar cheese, melted cheddar cheese, uh, bacon, sour cream. Yeah, that's, oh my God. I'm sure it's delicious. It is incredible, and I can only get through a third of it. And I tried once to do it as leftovers the next day. Nah, horrific. Well, it just becomes this big congealed mass of That's fat. That's what it is. That's what it is. Yeah. Um, but when it is warm, I'm sure oh. it's just beyond delicious. It's incredible. It, yeah. It, it's worth the pain later in the bathroom. It's worth it because it's so fucking good. So, yeah, that's what I would say. I can't. I mean, it's. So what other countries could uh, uh or, or like canada so like oh i don't even australia i don't think has cuisine do you think australia has any cuisine i don't they know have, they have I, I don't want to get upset with that i don't want them getting upset at me again but i'm just saying i don't know yeah I, but i've never is outback is not an australian <laughs> restaurant i can't think of a single like australian restaurant that i've ever even seen that's what i'm saying <laughs> uh, yeah and i've never seen a canadian uh <laughs> I mean, for yeah. Christ's sake, I've eaten at a Tibetan restaurant. Oh, yeah. You know what? I, I should say the entire continent of South America. Like, I would, that could be on the list as well, going down and trying out the different cuisines. In fact, there's a Netflix um, series that went to different, including Bolivia, my parents' uh, uh, birthplace, where they tried the cuisine and show the cuisine of how they make certain foods. And I was blown away by it. And so. Mm -hmm. I think I would that would be on my list as well. Almost any country in South America yeah. to try their cuisine. For I sure. already know I like South American food. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, there was a great Ecuadorian place not far from me. Pretty sure it closed down though. Yeah, yeah, because of the pandemic. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, you know, yeah, it's probably by and large, you know, carne and Hugo, I think is. Mm. But living, it's South American in origin. Yeah. And I make that now, which is delicious. Argentina Argentina with the parillada. That's incredible. All yeah. The meats. Yeah, oh. there's an Argentinian steakhouse up in Pasadena that's excellent. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Malbec, I believe is the name of it. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. I've seen Malbec. Yes. I remember. Yes. Uh, Yeah, I, I already know. I guess it, I'd be down for it. I already know I like south american food so <laughs> well i guess i know that about japan too i like sushi a lot and right uh various other yeah 
So maybe to go explore something I haven't tried before. I don't know. Could be fun. Could be. Uh, it could be. But yeah, what other countries don't have any food a la that we can think of Australian and Canadian? Portuguese. Portugal? Was there any Portuguese cuisine? I don't know. I, I would imagine it's... I, I feel like Europe does, right? Like all of Europe. Is there English cuisine beyond fish and chips? Like, is there really an English scene? Maybe you all who are English who listen yeah, to... Yeah, I mean, they've got their various pies like all the different meat pies and then the well i mean that's part of the cuisine i guess and i mean it's not like french cuisine that's not really Oof, right no, across the continent right right i imagine there's nordic cuisine right like swedish icelandic Dan Dan danish cuisine. Yeah, it's a bunch of salted fish no thank you <laughs> i can't do it all I've, I, with the, at least on the salted fish, I heard it's like one of those things you need to be, uh, you need to grow up with. Oh, I'm sure. Oh, I'm sure. Akin to like a Vegemite or something. Oof. Which is like, if you have no understanding of this, this is, it's like a 99% chance this is not going to be for you. I keep I've waiting. never tried it. I keep waiting for my girlfriend to storm in here going, you guys sound like a bunch of idiots. Here's the deal. Here are the cuisine of all these different countries. All right. You know, I don't know. Well, Canadian, I that's a good one. I don't, yeah. I can't think. And Australian, yeah. there, I'm, there has to be. It just it hasn't made it here to where I've been to either yeah. those type of restaurants. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure there is. I'm sure, and you be. know that there's Russian cuisine for sure, and yeah, what have you. So, all right. Well, anyway, we're at 32 minutes. Let's wrap this one up here. Uh, thank you very much to um, Chuck. Always good to hear from you, Chuck. Um, and to everyone who sent in a question, and this is what you can do now to send in questions, go to the Patreon, patreon.com slash the top 10, join at the $5 and above level, and then you get access to the email where you can send in questions and Hey, we're running out of questions. So start sending them in in mass. Yeah. Start sending them in. If you're a patron, this is one of the benefits you get to ask us about anything. And we do mean anything. And of course, we always have the right to refuse to answer questions. This may be a little too hot button. Or we're not, we're not, uh, we don't feel is the right question for us to answer. But most nine times out of 10, we answer the questions. Nine and a half times out of 10, we answer the questions. So please join the Patreon and please start sending in your questions if you're a patron already to, to kind of uh, beef up the amount of questions we got right now. And uh, follow the show on Twitter at Top 10 Show and on Instagram and YouTube. It is forward slash the Top 10 Podcast with the number 10. So hit us up on those. And you can follow me anywhere on Twitter and Instagram at Matt Nost. And you can follow me at the Roca says on Twitter and on Instagram. And we'll talk to you next time with another brand new episode of topic thunder. thunder.